This clip is brought to you by Piedmontese Beef, the best beef on the planet. Use code POWER for 25% off your entire order. Enjoy the clip and enjoy your meat. Your mention of instant gratification makes me wonder. I don't know if you use social media much or you use your phone, but there's so many things nowadays that kind of just can all fall into instant gratification, which sometimes yeah. makes it yeah. difficult yeah. for if an individual is wanting to start something that like if you want to start learning how to be a writer, it's going to take a long time. If you want to start jujitsu, it's going to take a long time. And it seems as if it's because of a lot of things that give us instant gratification now, people are finding it much harder to pursue things that take a long time to become proficient at. And I was curious, since you've been doing so much for so long, have you found yourself getting caught in those traps at all of like, this isn't happening fast enough for me. I'm not getting this fast enough. Do, do you ever fall into those traps anymore? Or are I, you just- I don't because it took me so long to even get to the starting line, you know? So, but you're absolutely right. And this instant gratification stuff that's out there is all about money. Mm. Right, it's all about them trying to suck you into, you know, all these little businesses are trying to suck you into whatever it is. But if there, if there ever was any sort of a, uh, um, a guiding principle for what we're trying to do, it's when you see instant gratification, a temptation for that, go the absolute opposite way. There could be nothing worse than instant gratification, you know. Yeah, and and the idea of. Being able to defer gratification to say, you know, if 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 we want to be a brain surgeon or a concert pianist, we got we say to ourselves, well, shit, that's going to take. I got 14 years of schooling, or I have you know 20 years of sitting at the piano doing scales all day. That's reality. Yes. And anybody that's trying to convince you, or you ourselves are trying to convince ourselves that there's a shortcut, you know, that's. That's wrong. That's bad. Yeah. I think uh, delayed gratification is kind of where it's at. Yes. Uh, you know, and then also it's going to be kind of uh, fed to you like over a really long period of time. So in writing your book, uh, The War of Art, which probably took you uh, how many years to kind of get to that point where you, I know you wrote the book quickly, but, but how it long a, did it took, you know, whatever, 10 years of thinking about it, right? Yeah. 10 years and yeah. many other books that people yeah. maybe, uh, maybe weren't nearly as popular, right? Yeah. And then you come out with this kind of a banger of an idea, but the idea hits and it's not like you're celebrating all the time just because uh, sales might be good or, or whatever, but you have people constantly telling you their interaction with the book, how it changed their life. And sometimes you might start to get used to that, but most of the time probably makes you feel amazing. Actually, it really doesn't. This is sort of, you know, it's a reality that, uh, it really doesn't the, make you feel amazing. It, no, it doesn't. I mean, I, I really, it's, it sounds kind of weird to say that. It is gratifying, but if you're, like we were talking about Bruce Springsteen's albums or books that I might write, you write one, the next one is your focus, you know? And what you did before is, you know, is in the past. So um, I'm always focused on whatever's right, right in front of me. And also in writing a book like The War of Art, I'm really writing it for myself, in all honesty. It's not like I said to myself, oh, I really want to help people. I want, you know, I just really want to understand this, the idea, that idea myself. And there's no better way to try to understand something than to have to write it out, you know? Then, but uh, yeah. So it's always for me, whatever the next thing is, whatever the next album is or whatever. So when people come up to you and they tell you how excited they are about the book, help them, you say, hey, I'm already on to the next one. <laughs> it's, it's true. You know? I mean, I, I don't want to be, I don't want to blow any, yeah, anything yeah, off. Yeah. I, pre, I really appreciate it and I'm happy for everybody. But uh, for me, it's, you know, on to the next thing. Yeah, I like that. Hey guys, if you like this clip, go ahead and comment down below and let us know what you liked about it. All right, share this with a friend. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And also, we are on Reddit and Discord. All that's down below. All our sponsors and everyone that supports us, down below there too, so you can get whatever you like from us. All right, peace.